So I still remember, it was 20 years ago now, but I still remember getting off that train at Wrigley Field, stepping out and not expecting it, but looking and just kind of seeing a view over right field toward home plate. And it was just like, oh my God, that was so cool. Wrigley Field. That makes me think of uh, something that we have at the tasting table today. If I had something that you actually brought here so you know what it is. If I had a beverage. But it was so long ago, I forgot. You forgot what it was? I forgot what it was. We talked about it before the show. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, yeah. then I remembered. Damn it. If we had something that was branded by the greatest baseball franchise of all time, what would you say? I would say, let's get to that. As quickly as possible. As quick. Because it's something Cub related. <laughs> exactly. Yes. That's what we have. A Chicago Cubs related wine. For this, give it a shot. I'm Andrew. And I am Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage we are about today is a California red blend that has the Chicago Cubs logo on it. <laughs> and that's about really all that we know. We know a little bit more than that. Do you know um, what we do know, though? We do. What do we know? We know something else. That this was given to me by a friend? Go on. Yes. A friend of mine was in California, happened to be in a little wine shop, and saw this and, and thought of me and thought he wanted to get this for me. And little did he know that I'd be turning it into a podcast. Although I did tell him as soon as he gave it to me, I'm like, we're going to podcast on this. <laughs> oh, so, oh, so he kind of did know that. It, well, if maybe not at the moment he bought it, but shortly after he handed it to me, he knew. Because <laughs> I was like, this has to be a podcast. What if I told you there was one more thing that we needed to change right now? What do we need? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't know what that is. Oh, I love it. There we go. Look at that. Give it a shot with... The baseball, because essentially our logo is a giant white ball. At least the background. Yeah, yeah, it's got yeah, uh, it's got threads on it. Yes, I love that. We got to keep that for other for other things as well. Well, it is baseball season, so it was kind of amazing that uh, this is the second podcast now this week that has tied in a baseball theme. Right. Uh, Like I said, uh, we had something from Lagunitas that was part of their one hitter series, uh, and now we are having something from uh, the World Series champion Chicago Cubs. That's true. From a couple years ago. This is a still yeah. Still wonderful. Well, it was the 2015 vintage. So 2015 was a good year for the Cubs. It was a giant step forward. Huge leap forward. Not quite into yeah. uh, what happened the following year, obviously, but was it was a good year. So we will find out if this is a good year for this wine. Uh, we don't know, like I said, a lot about the back of the label says that it was made um, by Plata, uh, vented and bottled by Plata Wine Works, which are winery or wine partners, which actually we've done just a little bit of research and it sounds like they are a large um, grape growing company that also sells to different wineries around the state uh, and will also, it seems like, do like custom blending uh, for, oh, okay. for customers we'll as well. We'll put together so, blends like I said, because yeah. uh, if you look, uh, you can actually find uh, this wine is still available at some retailers, probably not this vintage, it might be a year or two later, um, but they are still releasing these. It's literally mlb.com slash wine. Uh, they they probably do this for a bunch of the other uh, baseball teams as well, I'm sure. Yeah, I think but this is the only one we really care about. Right. This, yeah, it's the only one we need to we need to worry about. It. So, yes. uh, and uh, if we need to worry about it, though, we actually need the bottle, which has kind of been uh, an issue lately because it's not here, don't have it, and oh, look at wow. that! Wow, I don't wow. know who put the placement for this bottle. Probably <laughs> Phil. He's holding it up. You can't see his hand, but he's holding it right to his nose. Yeah, he's, uh, perfect placement. I didn't Absolutely know Phil perfect. was a Cubs fan, but I think the way he's looking at that, he is. I think so. Yeah, good. All yeah. right, let's yeah, count definitely. Phil among the many millions of Cubs fans. That's right. So we're going to break out the glasses. We've got a, of course, a wine opener. The bottle under the bottle. Oh, yeah, we I can't put quite. It. It's weird to do that. It that's is kind of actually. Yeah, there we that's go. That's cool though. Ooh, there. spooky vision. But yeah, like I said, uh, you had brought this over. I think at your birthday party. I believe so. Yeah, because I yeah. thought we might try it family-wise. We weren't sure, but there's there were so many other things there that. Uh, we did not, we did not get to this, but uh, we knew it would be a good item for a for a podcast, and so I want to say thank you to my coworker Skip, coworker and friend, for uh, bestowing uh, this upon us for us to uh, to uh, for us to enjoy or podcast watcher. Enjoy. No, maybe someday. Oh, I see. Maybe if I tell him that uh, 
that we did this one finally, he would. I'll give him a business card and Ooh. say, hey, please listen. Up. MLB.com slash wine on Ooh. the cork. All right. And an actual real cork. Yeah, I noticed that. No synthetic here. There were what? You can use this in most of your finer baseball bats, says Sammy Sosa. <laughs> in fact, this is actually cork from that bat. <laughs> this is cork from, from, one from that bats. bat. Um, and this is, uh, 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 was aged in French and American oak. So, oh, okay. But we don't really know. We don't have any idea what the varietals are. We just know it's a red blend, and we're gonna try it here. <clears throat> it's a simple, subtle logo, but I like it. Like you know what I mean? The like Cubs? it's like oh, literally yeah. the Cubs logo, and then yeah. a little bit of information on the back. Nothing, yep. nothing crazy. And the cork looks like it is good, in good shape. Just a little bit of dampness at the bottom, which mm-hmm. is that's what you want to see in that. Yeah, and the, if you actually go to the uh, website that we will have a link to at the bottom of the uh, page, if you go to our website, uh, there are a few uh, new releases out of wines with the Cubs branding on it and stuff. And they did do some previous ones when they won the World Series, but those are, of course, no longer available. <laughs> um, kind of like the Cubs pitching lately, no longer available. Oh, no, Quintana pitched a good game tonight. But, yeah, it has been a little shaky lately, that's for sure. Kind of a little like almost red, but it's almost like brown toward the edges. I was going to say, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Of, yeah. Uh, yeah. And pretty, actually pretty light. Yeah. Well. Light I can color. literally yeah. see my hand through the bottom of the yeah. glass with, yeah. with no problem. Maybe so it's, this is it's definitely on the lighter side. What's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's definitely on the, like I said, on the lighter side. I wonder, yeah. I, I'd really be fascinated to know what varietals they used in this, but so let's get to the sniff. It's a mild it's it's mild overall it's not it's not like very overwhelming uh nose no maybe some uh maybe a little raspberry a little raspberry a little cherry there's a little yeah. pop of something brighter in there a but then i would agree oh, oh wow yeah, oh my no. god i went miles on us there for just you a did second. yeah but yeah i would get a little there's a little bit of cherry like so there's that little pop of of that kind of to me in there yeah uh and then like I said yeah a some milder darker fruits and then that's about it like it's not overly complex i wouldn't say it's not like i'm getting like right you know lots of different types of oaking and other things as well right it's very light yeah and still in body and fl- there's not a lot of, there's there is cherry i think comes through more but i think there's more f- in the taste than there was in the aroma i would agree um it's easy drinking overall there's not it's not super not a lot of tannin yeah it's not yeah it's I, not. I don't get a lot of oak either though no um, I, do, I do not like i said yeah it's definitely lighter like i said the cherry comes through a little bit of raspberry um there's a little mild uh sweet in there in, as well which is nice um I, I yeah it's definitely on the thinner side kind of like the cubs pitching staff wow oh yeah um but uh yeah, I think the lighter fruit kind of shines through. Um, but yeah, easy drinking, summer, summer red. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, a little little bit the less on the complexity scale. I but, wouldn't be but, surprised. But nice, not too dry. Like yeah. it's, There's not like that. Like There's nothing really, uh, as we would say, there's no faults. No. We used to talk no about faults. that when we would try yep. coffee and different things. There's no faults to this. Right. But maybe it's just like you you wish there was a little bit more. But overall, I mean, it's 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 fine. Yeah. It's it's neat to have. Like I said, I'm honestly happy. I'm, like I said, I will I will probably go through the rest of the bottle tomorrow. Yeah. It's I, or yeah, tonight, I, I depending on how the night goes. Is a, <laughs> if you hop on and start gaming, that's right. I almost wonder if there is some Pinot in there. There's something. There's some lighter grapes in there. I think. Um, but I don't even want to speculate on that. But it is. It's definitely yeah on the lighter side. But yeah, no faults. Easy drinking. Maybe some Sangiovese. Could be. Actually, yeah. That, that was be. kind of what I was thinking like yeah. when we were initially yeah. smelling it and stuff. I was like, oh, I wonder if there's some filler of that and, yeah. and other things. But yeah, like I said, it's 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 an unoffensive, just nice red. Yes. I don't know what he paid for it. Any idea? I don't know. I don't know, actually. I'll, I'm sure there's I'll an, ask him. I'm sure there's an MLB tax. Yeah, there's probably a, yeah, <laughs> there's probably a, a luxury tax on top of that because right. the Cubs are always in the luxury tax. Right. Um, but... Uh, but yeah, I think I think if you're a Cubs fan, it's always kind of neat getting some of these things where it's yeah. like, oh, I'll keep this bottle around or whatever. Yeah. And like I said, the wine itself is is fine, but I would not overpay it or buy a bunch of them. Right. Yeah, it would be because you know you would at least drink it. So if you if I saw it and like oh, the Cubs, like, yeah, it'd be a cool thing to have on display, and eventually I'll, I'll drink the wine. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, I would, yeah. I would uh, totally agree. But on the other hand, if you want something that uh, is going to have longevity, is going to have more depth of character, uh, <laughs> you want to come to these guys right here and go to aboutbeverages.com. That's where you can find all of our previous tastings, uh, whether it be beer, wine, whiskey, sodas, sparkling waters, hop waters, all these different things. Uh, you will find the uh, videos and podcasts there. But if you haven't a problem with going to websites. I get it. I understand it. You want just, you know, kind of giant corporations that kind of hold on to all the videos. We've got one for you. You can go to uh, youtube.com slash about beverages. And we have a, a place there where you can subscribe and watch all of our videos as well. And uh, again, speaking of more giant, uh, <laughs> giant uh, corporate overlords, uh, we're on iTunes as well. <laughs> You can find our uh, audio podcasts uh, there along with, uh, if you just search for About Beverages, we're pretty much on every social media thing you could want. What are yeah. our social media platforms? Name them off. Well, we've got Instagram. Okay. We've got Twitter. We've got your Facebook. And what have I forgot? I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. At least that's the big three. Yeah. That's the big, the that's big the three. power trio. The, there they are. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot.